scrape, 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 scrape. Well, what do I have here? I have a ice scraper. So an ice scraper is used to scrape the windshields of cars that have ice buildup on them. And uh, every car in the north has one of these, these uh, really cool ice scrapers. And it comes in different colors, different shapes. Uh, but typically it's got, uh, you know, a fine edge on the front. It's got a nice big handle. And then it also has got this wide bit up here where the plastic starts narrowing down. So I've I put in all those features as best as I could. And uh, let's go find out how I built it. And don't forget to su subscribe. Hit the like button down below. And uh, don't forget to check out our... A giveaway video as well so go check that out okay everybody let's go check out how I built this ice scraper so we got to build an ice scraper you guys know what an ice scraper is it's uh, basically a piece of plastic with kind of like a spatula with a sharp sharper edge of plastic and you scrape your windshields with it if you live in the south you might never have seen a windshield um, scraper before but I grew up in New York and uh, there was, you needed a scraper in order to get in your car half the time. So um, let's put five minutes on the clock and uh, see how we can build a scraper. So we are gonna need a handle, something like this, uh, maybe a, a little bit more sturdy. And then we gotta get to an edge, right? So like some sort of edge, maybe it's like this, right? Use these, yeah. So that is kind of like the scraping force edge, the front the front edge of the scraper. And then it kind of builds out like a Y almost, uh, the ones that I've used in the past. So let's see how we can do that. Um, not too concerned about the colors, the color scheme. And it also kind of edges down a little bit. Like I'd like to have this a little higher than that. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Something like that. Oh, red. Let's use red. Yep, there you go. So then it steps down like that. Um, to arch it up. Hmm. Let's use this. And one of these. And then there, and then there. And then now we gotta come back from there. So maybe we use this uh, blue piece here as a sandwich. We'll do that, and we'll do that. And then what's going on in the back? One of these, and one of these. Um. Okay, we got the general theme and it works, it's functional, right? But I don't like how this is down here. So let's see what we can do to change that. We're two minutes in, we don't have a lot of extra time, but we have some and we have the handle really well built and we have this here. So how can we do that? Maybe if we, maybe if we do this and that, maybe we get an idea here. Yeah, something like that. I like the look at that. And then maybe we have to step this blue piece back one. I'm just gonna cheat a little bit. That's okay though. I'm not gonna do the overlap, which I should, but I'm not. Okay, so then this goes, gotta fix this. Okay, this goes here, and this goes here. So now what do we do? Gray. So we're gonna use the gray piece to go on top, like that. Is that what I'm looking for? Yes, it is. So it, it kind of bends over. Yeah, I think so. I'm 
black here. Make it more look like a tool than a toy, right? Black. It's a little heavy on this knuckle piece. I don't like that necessarily. And it, maybe if I just get rid of the idea that this is lower, maybe this is going to look a lot better. That looks more like a shovel, right? Which, I don't know, maybe that's okay. Maybe that's what I want out of this. Let me think about that. I wanted it to be more rounded over. Maybe if I go here and add this to this. Yes, that's what I'm missing. I need a, I need a, um, okay. Yep. We got some singing in the background here. So I'm gonna take these two. Okay, we got a little bit left of time and this is what I'm looking for. So see, there we go. So I wanted a, some sort of a knuckle. So this, this part of the scraper typically is the thickest part and that's what I wanted as a feature. Um, the reason why is that you know, they use the thick part and then they narrow it down to an edge as, as, as close to a knife edge as possible, but still made out of plastic. So you're not scraping anything, right? You're not um, actually doing damage to the windshield or your car in that, in that matter. So if you can, that's, that's why it's a little thicker up here than everywhere else. And then the handle itself, it has to be pretty large for your hand to be able to scrape it down. So there we go. I think that turned out really good. Leave a comment down below if you think I did a good job. If you think there's a different technique or a different way of building this, let me know in the comments. Also, um, let's go check out what we're gonna build tomorrow. Thanks everybody for watching. And uh, don't forget to share your builds and your ideas on our channel as well. Thanks everybody. Check out what we're gonna build tomorrow. So that was a cool build. Now we gotta spin the wheel and find out what we're gonna build tomorrow. So on the wheel we got nothing but snow and ice and that's a great way to kick off all of January. So what we have, a bobsled. So I grew up near Lake Placid and there used to, there's a bobsled run up there. You actually can pay like $100 or something like that and sit in the bobsled while it goes down the hill um, during the summertime. And it is one of the most iconic uh, winter sports, you know, for the Winter Olympics. So let's go build a bobsled. Not sure how we're going to build it with the amount of pieces that we have, but let's go give it a try and find out what we can do. So make sure to tune in tomorrow at 7 a.m. when we release our videos and subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications of when those videos come out. Also, we're doing a giveaway for a new version of that. So Go check out the video on our giveaway to find out how you can enter to win. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.